Hi children, welcome to Eclipse Learning. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, please go and watch them first. And this is the second part for chapter four in grade nine. So here also there's a special uh, uh, part one where I will be talking about uh, the theory parts of the using microcontrollers. And this will be more practical session. So it, it would be better if you can watch the part one first and then please come and watch this video as well. This will be using uh, the make code and uh, like teach how to do the practical uh, work using the microcontrollers. So I will be starting from this place, right? So hope you remember what I talked in the last video. So uh, here, uh, basically, I think now you may have purchased a microcontroller or microbit with you uh, because it would be uh, better, right? So anyway, the coding can be done online. And uh, usually what you have to do is you have to download the code uh, to the microcontroller and you can physically also test it. But if you don't have a, a microbit, uh, no worries, still you can do the testing virtually, but it would be great and interesting uh, if you have a physical microcontroller with you, so it, it's more interesting, right? Uh, so for this one, uh, I will be uh, doing the coding using uh, make code. This is online coding, so you need an uh, internet connection. Uh, okay, uh, this is the... Um, uh, application we are going to work on. So you can go to this uh, website using www.makecode.com and then you have to click this micro bit area, right? Okay. Then you can uh, create a new project and you can give a name. So uh, we'll give just a demo. You can give a uh, any name you want and then you create the project. So this is the place where we are going to do coding, right? So this place um, is the place where we do the actual programming. So there are two things if you see blocks and JavaScripts, right? So JavaScript one, we'll uh, leave it for a while because this one you need to do the coding. You can do uh, coding with Python as well. Uh, but in this chapter, we are basically uh, worrying about using blocks. So it's uh, very similar to the uh, scratch development. Uh, so here you can do the drag and drop uh, coding kind of. So here you have uh, more uh, settings you can do. So here you can change the language also here. Uh, even you can do uh, coding in single also, but I'm not actually recommending it uh, because it's better to uh, use English and do anyway your English medium kids. Uh, so it would be better not to change the language. Uh, try to uh, do it as it is the ID, right? So uh, when you uh, go to the ID, you can see there are two blocks, right? So this one is on start, right? And here it's a forever. So if you want to see what it is, you can right click and see the help. You'll see the help and see so each block you can uh, learn about um, using the help menu. Uh, and event that runs when the program starts. So every time when the program starts, it will be this block running. Like our, can you remember in the scratch we had some uh, flag, right? So it's actually very similar to this one uh, when the flag clicked, right? So the on start is a special event that runs when the program starts before any other event. So this is the most prioritized one. Use this event to initialize your program, okay? So they have given a nice description. So forever means something for repetitive. So if you see the help for that also, keep running part of the program in the background. So it will be always uh, continuously running, okay? And there are actually more uh, block types if you can see here, right? In this section, you have so many other 
menu. So when we are doing it, uh, you will get some understanding. Uh, we'll say like, for example, in the basic section, there are, if you want to show a number, right? If you want to create uh, like a pattern, because I uh, hope you remember in the real microcontroller, there are 25 LEDs. So you can uh, go for different, different designs kind of. I will show you one of the examples. And this one you can use to uh, select different LED patterns. I will show you uh, how to do that. And this is to show uh, a string printing on your, um, printing means actually with the LEDs, uh, you can show a string. And this is to clear the screen. This one you know for everything. An interval, like pause the thing, like uh, to give a break, okay? This one, you know, the on start thing. So this is actually to a uh, display and array. And then comes the input block. Uh, so this is the button A, hope you remember we, are, we had two buttons. So this will uh, be triggered for any actions when you click the button A. So similarly, you can change this drop down and make it uh, the button B also. So uh, both actions for uh, button A and B can be given here. And this is uh, for the shaking or the motion detection. And uh, it will trigger in this case. And this one is for the, uh, the pins, P0, P1, P2, those pins, you can give an action. So this is for the accelerometer stuff. And this one, you can actually detect the, like uh, for the light, from the light sensor, you can do, do different things like light level you can detect and uh, when it is low, you can do something kind of very interesting things can be done. And this is for the compass and this is for the temperature related data, right? So like that, there are so many um, things you can do, right? Uh, I will tell how to do uh, these things as well. Okay, then uh, shall we start something? So um, we don't need uh, both of these blocks. We, uh, so what I can do is I can just put it here and it will uh, go away. So uh, I will uh, start and I will just uh, show a string, right? So we'll uh, print hello itself. You can change this one, no worries. So can you see the output, right? Hello is printed. So if you want to see this thing in physical thing, what you have to do is you have to download this code and save. You can remember like it will be .hex file, right? It will be saved, right? And then uh, when you connect the microcontroller to your machine, right, with this mini USB cable, you can see it, uh, like when you connect to a, a pen drive, you can see it. So then you can copy it directly to the uh, microcontroller. And then uh, actually when you're transferring the uh, code, uh, you can see that that uh, small bulb is blinking. And after it's done in the real uh, physical uh, microcontrollers, you can see the same thing. Understood? So we'll do another one and see. Right. I will take this, right? So uh, it's having different kind of patterns, see? like this so you can do something interesting right you can do like this if so if the button a is pre uh, pressed you can do this and we'll take the same thing again if the button b is uh, clicked you can show another thing we'll show the heart and then if you want to uh, now in physical device you can uh, click both right a and b so that one also you can give like this and then can you see 
because in the virtual device you cannot do this. So for that they have given you A plus B because you cannot uh, click both A and B at once in the physical uh, virtual device. In the physical device you can do with your fingers, uh, but uh, for that they are giving a separate button. So when uh, I want that one, I can tell um, I just need empty thing. I want to like kind of a clearing. Okay. Now we'll see. When I click A, I'm getting this. When I click B, I'm getting the heart. And when I click both buttons together, it will vanish. Okay. So I will show uh, how to uh, do some kind of like a animation kind of thing. These are very interesting things you can. Uh, you can uh, do your own designs also. Uh, let me show you. Uh, you can uh, like this. You can uh, make your own thing. Anything you want, right? And then I will put another empty one also. So we'll see what happens. Like this, it's a blinking one. Because this one, this one, this one, this one. So it's kind of a blinking. Understood. These are very interesting things uh, you can do. So if you go here, uh, before that, actually, you can share your uh, code also from this one. Uh, so just remember for your, uh, like, you can share it with your friends also. So if you go here, uh, you can uh, learn different, different things. Like, like kind of a tutorials are there. Now, if, for example, if this one, uh, if I show you, uh, they're asking you whether you want to do it blocks, Python, or the JavaScript. So we are doing the um, blocks. Now see in the tutorial itself, they are telling, learn how to use LED to make a flashing heart, right? So you have to do like this. Okay, that's what I have to do. Then they are telling you what you should do, right? So you have to take the forever block, the same thing I did. So you can uh, take this one. And you can do next. So you have they're asking you to place another one. Okay, like this. So here you have to draw a heart, right? So this steps they are going to tell you. Right? If you click here, they will show you what are the things you have to click. See? So you can click as they show you. Something like this, right? So if you go and see, they're asking you to uh, click uh, only the things you need, right? Then if you go to this step, they will tell, okay, you place another one, empty one, just keep it. Uh, now look at the virtual micro bit. You can see the heart because it's blinking. And this is so you, like that, you can follow the tutorials very easily. If you want, I will uh, show you another one. So there are so many things. Uh, I will uh, the name tag the same thing what I show you the name printed the dice. We'll see what to do.
Uh, now it's about the accelerometer. So for this one, you should have the physical one because you have to move it and see actually what will happen. We'll see. So uh, shaking and to uh, get the random number and then you want to sh uh, show it. So shaking thing you have to take. Remember we had something called on shake. Okay. So then they're asking you to take the show number and so when you shake it, it will show a number. Put a pick number uh, block in the show number block. to get a random number. So normally a dice will uh, show you one to six only. So you have to change this and you cannot keep uh, like this. So you can use the simulator, see, you can do the shaking. Yeah. Shake one, shake five, because on shake you show a random number one to six. So you can shake it again, shake it again, shake it a random number, shaking like a dice. Now, this is like a dice when you uh, shake the dice, uh, then you get a number, right? Random number. So this micro control is acting like a, a dice now. So, can you see it's very interesting, right? Definitely, uh, you can uh, go there and learn things yourself. There are so many tutorials. So even though you don't have a physical uh, microcontroller, still with the virtual one, you can do a lot. Right? So don't just pause this video and just wait until uh, to get a real uh, microcontroller. Even it's, if you don't have it, if you don't have money to buy it, just don't worry. Try to do more things in the virtual thing. But it would be better if you can buy a real microcontrol and it is more interesting. So there are so many things you can try out, right? Uh, actually, if you learn these things, it's like kind of a foundation for the robotics, right? So do a lot of things and um, it's very interesting. So if you want uh, more uh, like uh, tutorials like this uh, for this uh, micro bit, please do comment like, uh, I will do some more things like what I did today. Uh, so you can follow with me and learn because sometimes following the tutorial will be a bit hard for you uh, for the first time, but um, uh, actually you can continue. But uh, if you want some more help on the micro bit, please do comment so I can do uh, another video uh, for these kind of some games and these, um, some of these items. So it would be more helpful for you. Okay. So thank you very much for being with us. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed my channel still, please do subscribe. And uh, please share these videos with your friends, especially in this pandemic uh, situation. It would be great help. Uh, so that's my actual expectation also. Uh, so thank you very much.